Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft Power Toys has just received quite a big update. And the update rolled out a couple of hours ago and it has now bumped up the app to version 0.93.0. Now in regards to this update, about a month or so ago, I'll let you know that Microsoft Power Toys is going to be getting a major dashboard redesign. With Microsoft saying that the idea is to align more with the Windows 11 settings design and make things easy to scan at a glance. Now just to let you know that if we head over to our home dashboard, we can see now that that is now rolled out with version 93, which I think is a very nice move in the right direction. And I would say that out of the highlights, this would be the key highlight for version 0.93. Now, Microsoft says that PowerToys Settings debuts a modern card-based dashboard with clearer descriptions and faster navigation for a streamlined user experience. And I think this is definitely a move in the right direction. So basically, as you can see, you've got a clearer view of which utilities are on and off here to the right. You've got a central list here of all your shortcuts and quick launch buttons. On the home page so if you've got one quick access to some of these utilities you just click on that and i think that's a very nice move and a step in the right direction and if you want to get access to a utility you just click on the relevant entry here to the right hand side and that will take you directly to that utilities page and i think the old uh, dashboard the home page was quite cluttered because all of these modules were just scattered across the page and I think this just gives you kind of like a one glance stop. And I think this just makes everything a lot better, just unifying everything here now on one home page, also known as the dashboard. Now, just to focus on the other key highlights for the purpose of this video, there's a lot more going on. But just to focus on those highlights. Now, Command Palette, which you can activate by using the shortcuts Windows key Alt and Space is basically a souped up desktop search. And I've posted on this previously, but Command Palette now, according to Microsoft, has had over 99 issues resolved, including bringing back clipboard history, adding context menu shortcuts, pinning your favorite apps and supporting history in run. So quite a lot going on with Command Palette. And Microsoft also says that Command Palette has reduced its startup memory usage by 15%. It's reduced its load time by 40%. Built-in extensions loading time is reduced by 70%. And the installation size has been reduced by 55%. And the reason for this is all due to using the full ahead of time AOT compilation mode in Windows App SDK, according to Microsoft. So quite a lot of focus on that command palette with this release. Now, if you are using Peek, and Peek, as you may well know, basically gives you a quick file preview. So just to demonstrate, if I head into an image quickly, you click on that and then you just use control and space, you get Peek. Now, Peak, Microsoft says, now supports instant previews and embedded thumbnails for binary G-code, 3D printing files, making it easy to inspect models at a glance. So that's a nice move if you are using Peak. Now, Mouse Utilities introduces a new spotlight, highlighting mode that dims the screen and draws attention to your cursor, which Microsoft says is perfect for presentations. And I think that's actually working quite nice. And then just to mention a couple of improvements, which are part of the highlights. Microsoft says there were test coverage improvements for multiple PowerToys modules, including Command Palette, Advanced Paste, Peak, Text Extractor, and Power Rename, which Microsoft says ensures better reliability and quality with over 600 new unit tests and doubled UR automation coverage. So quite a lot going on with those improvements taking place under the hood. So guys, those are the key highlights 
the change log is massive. You can just click on the release notes, which will take you over to GitHub if you want to dive a little bit more deeper in regarding everything that's rolled out. As you can see, quite a lot going on with this latest release. And Power Toys, in case you're unaware, can be downloaded from GitHub and also from the Microsoft Store if you would be interested and is available for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.